Hello, my name is Pam Binney and I'm a nurse practitioner with Care Dimensions. In this video, I'm going to explain what palliative care is and isn't and when it might be appropriate for a person. So many times my first question for patients is, do you know what palliative care is all about? And very often their answer is no. So we start from the beginning. The focus of palliative care is the treatment and relief from pain, symptoms, and stress of living with a serious illness, with the ultimate goal of improving the quality of life for both a patient and his or her family. What palliative care is, is a team-based approach to treating serious illness that focuses not only on a person's physical needs, but emotional and spiritual needs as well. All of those things that affect a person's day-to-day -day quality of life. Palliative care also attends to the needs of a patient's family and caregivers, because certainly disease affects everyone in the home. Palliative care helps patients live with their illness for as long as they are experiencing its effects. And of course, that is a, that's different for every individual. Palliative care is appropriate at any age and at any stage of illness, even at the time of the initial diagnosis. The palliative care team works in partnership with a patient's primary care physician and the appropriate specialists to create personalized care plans. Through medication recommendations and follow-up visits, we are able to closely assess the results of any modifications and therefore the patient's well-being. What palliative care is not, it's not just for the end of life or for those individuals with severe symptoms. It does not stop patients from seeking curative treatment or life-sustaining measures such as surgery, chemotherapy, drug therapies, dialysis, or radiation. Palliative care is appropriate for patients of any age and at any stage of a life-limiting illness, including but certainly not limited to cancer, coronary artery disease, congestive heart failure, stroke, respiratory diseases such as COPD, dementia, Parkinson's disease, multiple sclerosis, renal disease, liver disease, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, or ALS. Palliative care can be very helpful with complex pain and symptom management. The diagnosis and prognosis discussions, especially when a prognosis may be unclear, Discussions relating to a patient's goals of care, advanced care planning, care and treatment issues that affect quality of life. We're often asked when is the right time for a patient to seek a palliative care consultation. Palliative care can be brought in at any time, but we find that consultations earlier in the course of the disease can be particularly helpful because early open communication often reduces patient and family stress. The patient is still able to fully and clearly participate in discussion and state his or her wishes in a comfortable environment. Therefore, the family is not required to interpret patient's wishes when the disease has progressed. Time for family members with conflicting views to reach common ground. Patients with serious illness and complex medical histories are often followed by multiple specialists that may lead to a focus on individual system concerns rather than a holistic view of the patient. Families may receive an overwhelming amount of information from multiple specialists, but often have never had the opportunity to participate in a conversation putting all this information together and really relating it to their day-to-day -day life today and moving forward. During their treatment, the measurement of results may take the priority of both the patient and the care provider over the side effects and symptom management. Patients may mistakenly believe that their symptoms and the side effects from their treatments and medications are just part of the picture and are to be tolerated as part of the disease process. So palliative care offers many benefits, including the time and the supportive environment for patients and their families to share their goals and concerns. It offers a holistic view of disease management rather than medical information that's often difficult to understand. It offers clinicians who will visit patients wherever they live, whether that be in their home, an assisted living facility, or even at the hospital. 
evaluation of medication and symptom management recommendations, and close care coordination with patients, physicians, and specialists, oftentimes when it's difficult for a patient to get out of the house to a visit. It offers help with those treatment decisions based on realistic goals and personal wishes. And it offers patients and their families support to prevent unnecessary hospitalizations and the spiritual and emotional support during a very difficult time. Palliative care can provide assistance with both the symptoms caused by a disease process and the potential side effects of various treatments, including pain, anxiety or agitation, dyspnea or shortness of breath, depression, fatigue, lethargy, nausea, vomiting, constipation or diarrhea, insomnia, confusion, anorexia. Palliative care can be provided at home, in skilled nursing facilities, assisted living facilities, and in the hospital. Palliative care consultations are typically covered by Medicare, Medicaid, and most insurance plans. So let me give you a couple of examples of how palliative care helped two patients. We have Mrs. E, who is living with advanced heart failure. She lives with her husband. She's homebound and has had multiple recent hospitalizations. She's having increased symptoms, such as shortness of breath and pain, and it is getting more difficult for her and her husband to manage her care. She's concerned about what is happening in the future and really feels they need to have a conversation together, but is not exactly sure how to begin. Then we have Mr. W, who is partway through his treatment for esophageal cancer. He's independent, still driving, and has visiting nurses coming to his home. He wants to maintain the quality of his life for as long as he can, but he is noticing increased symptoms such as difficulty eating and some pain, and would appreciate some additional recommendations that he can share with his oncologist and primary care physicians. So both of these patients can really benefit from palliative care. Even though they are at different ages, different stages of illness and capabilities, they have similar goals of wanting to enjoy their day-to-day -day life as best they can. If you have questions about or would like to request a palliative care consultation from Care Dimensions, please call 888-283-1433. Thank you.